And welcome to the Race by Race preview for Sha Tin on Sunday. Ten races all on the turf and the rail is in the A-course position. Joined in the studio to preview what is a massive day by Paul Lally and Tom Wooden. Tom, it doesn't get much bigger than the Derby. It certainly doesn't to mark the, the Derby into the Queen Silver Jubilee Cup. But the, the Derby is uh, the race that all the owners want to win here in uh, Hong Kong. They've gone out and spent the money on uh, all these uh, horses and they've got to this uh, point. And so they've got their uh, chance at uh, winning one of the real classics here in Hong Kong. They do indeed, and you can make the day even better, Paul. Yeah, big jackpot coming up, 19.1 million going into the Triple Trio, so a really decent jackpot. There are a couple of first starters throughout the card as well, just to add a little bit of an extra intrigue as well. I'm going to crack straight into race number one now, and the first race gets underway at the normal start time of 1 o'clock, class four over the 1,200 metres. Class drop for Crystal Powerful and Island Golden. First starters, Champion Instinct, six trials. Flaming Trillion, five trials. Gold Sterling's now with Dennis Ship, formerly with Jimmy Ting. Sweet Diamond, Visor, tongue tie off. Cheek pieces go on. Travel Guide wears a tongue tied and call me tongue tie and call me dandy has no tongue tie replaced by a cross over nose band right down the bottom too Tom soaring tower he wears a tongue tie he does uh, off a rating of 43 a miraculous honour can go forward so that's what he's done in his couple of starts so far he's drawn barrier number one uh, plentiful was handy on debut but he's got barrier 13 flamingo trillions a newcomer champion instinct is also a, a newcomer he's been jumping okay in his uh, trials and then you got a three wide line there report call me dandy Island Golden who trialled better and Precision Gold. Yeah, so look, he he's actually led on uh, his debut run in that restricted race, cl uh, Class 4 restricted that he won, but he's sort of been going back a bit and he's a little bit wayward as well. And he's drawn, what's he drawn? He's drawn quite wide in the 11. Got a few replays to have a look at here, boys, because it is a pretty open race with a bit of unexposed form. June Planet's had one start. This was a fourth at Happy Valley, Paul. Yeah, so look, coming to Shartan, I think will suit him. He's drawn awkwardly in 10, but the, the, uh, look, he ran really well here on debut by not a single doubt, this horse. So, look, uh, with natural improvement, or I think he w would have taken from that debut run, he goes in for me. Yeah, he wasn't the quickest way out of the gates as well. You know that the top two horses have been in good form, but uh, the way he got home there, 22.56 for his last uh, 400 metres, that was a, a really, really good debut for him. And he's been given plenty of time to get over that too. Yep, two trials as well. He's trolled quite well. Next up, uh, Tom, we've got winning form for Snow a lot, who likes to get back and run on. Yeah, and he had to form around Prince of Porty, and then he came out this night and beat uh, Righteous Ari and Melbourne Halls, come out of this race uh, midweek, and uh, one that's him uh, right down uh, the outside uh, there. But, uh, of course, Wood on Fire has also come out of this uh, race, and uh, he, I thought he ran through the line pretty well, Paul. Yeah, he hit the line nice enough, didn't he? So, look, he's definitely one of the chances here, and uh, once he got into the clear, it was a good, good turn of full, because we hadn't seen much of him since his debut run. Mm. Righteous Arian in that race running second. What about Soaring Tower, Paul? There he is getting wide and running on. A little like Snowalla, he likes to get back and make late ground. Yeah, and he, he won on debut as well. He won off a rating of 52. He's, he's at this rating of 43 now as well. Tongue tie will go on for the first time. And he's been consistent his last couple. So, look, I'm going to include him as well. Yep, but the other horse in this race, Call Me Dandy, there was a lot of support for him first up and even more support for him second up. That's him in the, the pink colours uh, there with the cheek pieces on, but he weakens and he had an issue last time out. Blood in the track here, he's got the crossover nose band going on, tongue tie uh, coming off, but he's got a wide stall, but uh, may pay to keep an eye on the market uh, with him. He's over 20 to 1 at the moment. OK, yeah. um, what about Island Golden, Paul? He hit the ground green but looked to have a ton of ability. Hasn't done much since. This is a recent trial from him. Yeah, look, there hasn't been much form come out of that uh, win, has there, that, that he did win uh, beating Young Sp uh, Spangle. But, look, he, uh, he was pushed out a little bit in the trial, but he did respond nicely. They uh, just rode him a little bit quieter, and I, I think they'll do something similar in this from a wide draw. Look, I've, inc I've included him in a very minor line. Yeah, Hugh Bowman goes on board. You can see he was under a nice enough hold there late in the piece. That uh, Class 4 restricted form's been... Uh, terrible, but I think what's going to help, he comes back to Class 4 company this time round. OK, yeah. keep an eye on him and Plentiful's track work, Paul. Yeah, look, uh, this horse had every chance on debut, but he only really faded late in the last sort of 100 metres. With that run under his belt, he's, he's dropped 11 pounds. I think he can get across from his wide draw, and he could be one at a bit of value, I thought. Enough to put him on top? Yeah, I'm going to make him the long shot and go, uh, go nice and early in the day. Uh, race number one, uh, plenty of forward. I, did, I thought his debut run was good and he's uh, he's come on from that. June Planet was a really good debut run from him as well. So these two horses haven't got much uh, exposed form. Uh, Soaring Tower has, but uh, he's been running on nicely and Island Golden did win that restricted race. 7, 3, 14 and 2. You really like the way that uh, June Planet ran through the line late in the piece there after missing the start. Uh, comes out of a, a couple of barrier trials, 1-1 one, one up at uh, Chung Fa and then the fifth in his last uh, one. And I uh, thought... 
there was a lot to like about that first run. Snow a lot to Island Golden. Hopefully he can improve coming back down in grade. And Soaring Tower uh, doesn't win out of a turn, but uh, is normally there or thereabouts. 3, 12, 2 and 14. And that is the preview for the first on Derby Day.